So, a few videos ago, I did a tutorial on how to use Stop Motion Studio, and you guys seem to have found it very useful. So now I'm going to go to the level above and give you a full tutorial on how to use Stop Motion Studio Pro. Lights. Camera. And... Lego! Firstly, go to the App Store. You will need to buy it because it's not free. Once you have paid and downloaded it, just open it up. And before I get into more detail, I want to make it very clear that my opinion is that this is the best stop motion app ever. It is definitely worth the money. If you are thinking about getting a stop motion app, this one is amazing. I highly recommend it. Also, for this tutorial, I'll be using an iPad. The iPad looks a little bit different from the phone, but it still has the same features. Now that you have Stop Motion Studio Pro, and if you haven't already, you will need to set up your lights, camera, and set. Here is me setting up. Okay, now you are ready to start. Hop into Stop Motion Studio Pro. It'll look almost exactly the same, but actually, by paying, you have unlocked so many features. When you go into Stop Motion Studio, it shows the possible features that you can unlock by paying. So now, we will go through them. Create a new movie. Now let me go through the new features. Firstly, I will show this plus button. When you click on this, it comes up with some options. The first feature is that you can add images to your stop motion. So if you want to import photos from your DSLR camera and then edit it on the Stop Motion Studio Pro, you can. This app works great as an editing software. Next is if you want to add a title screen. Some of them look really epic. Further down is if you want to add audio. Stop Motion Studio Pro has a whole library of sound effects and music. Next thing is if you want to clip something. This can also be called rotoscoping, which is getting a video and making it look like a stop motion. And last but not least is if you want to add a file, such as music. Moving on, there is a gear icon which shows many of the main settings. When you click it, it comes up with frames per second, fading in between frames, aspect ratio, foreground, filters, quality and playback. The settings that have new features are foreground, filters, and quality. When looking at foreground, there are many options. Your subject can be on the moon, underwater, or anywhere you want. When looking at filters, there is more as well. And finally, when you look at the quality, you can change it up to 4K. This means that it's very good quality. Another new feature is when you select a photo. By pressing the erase button, you can mask. This is a great tool to make Lego fly. Here is a photo that has not been masked. And this is one that has. Here is a short animation I took using masking. In Stop Motion Studio Pro, I erased the support under Sherbet's feet, so it appears that he's flying. How to get to another new feature is by clicking Edit and pressing the plus icon. You can draw onto the photo. This is amazing. There are also other options. These options include putting text on, adding a speech bubble, adding a background, and pasting another photo on. These options come with settings within them. Here's me briefly going through them. In Stop Motion Studio, you can add a normal Lego face, but you can't change it. All those options are locked. But with Stop Motion Studio Pro, you can change the face by selecting the face and then clicking Edit. You can change the look and make your minifigure talk. This would be so good to have in Stop Motion.
Another really cool feature is green screen and remote camera effect. Get there by clicking the icon that has three lines. First, you have a green screen, which is very useful. Once you click on green screen, your camera will make anything green look like whatever the background image is set to. If this does not happen, then you should change these settings until you get to your image to look just right. Click on this button and you will be able to adjust how sensitive the camera will be to the green screen. Scrolling to the right will make it more sensitive and moving it to the left will make it less sensitive. You can also choose whether you want the camera to change anything that is green or blue. For this example, I will leave it on green. Next, on this button, you can change the green screen to look like any of these images. You can also use your own images by pressing the import button. The next feature in this app is the remote camera function. If you have another device, download the app Remote Camera, then go into it. After, go back to your original device that has Stop Motion Studio Pro. Click on your second device and now the camera is connected to your second device. So you can be in another room and be taking photos without bumping the camera. This feature is so cool. Also, another way in not making your iPad bump when you take a photo is by connecting earbuds to your device. By pressing the volume button, it takes a photo. You have now made your own DIY remote. Another really useful feature in this app is the merge function. What this will do is basically blur a couple of photos together. This is designed to make something look like it's moving quickly. To use this, tap on a photo, then click select and roll over the other images. Only select five images as a stop motion studio pro will not let you merge more than five. Once you have done that, Tap on the selected photos and click Merge, and that's it. In summary, with the paid version of Stop Motion Studio, you'll be able to import photos that you've already taken, add title and credit scenes, special audio effects and music, foreground and images and filters, and even film in 4K resolution. You will also be able to mask your own stop motion so you can make things look like they're flying. You can draw on images and write text, use a bunch of Lego animated faces to show your character's emotions, film with an active green screen effect, and use another device as remote camera. And finally, merge frames together to make it look like there is a fast movement. So that is all the new features. Of course, Stop Motion Studio Pro still has the previous settings and tools like timer, onion skinning, voice acting, etc. And finally, this is the stop motion I took using Stop Motion Studio Pro. Like I said before, this app has so many features, you really should buy it. I know I enjoyed using it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Like. And subscribe. Or watch another video.